Hey friends, it's Avi from JustRightMusic.com. Really quick, I'm experiencing, experiencing some technical difficulties with my equipment and all that stuff and filming. So I'm using my phone microphone today. So if there's a dip in audio quality for this video, please excuse that for this week. All right, so today we're talking about something super important. We're gonna talk about something that would literally change the way you write music, especially in a computer. The age old question, a DAW, or notation software, which should I use? In case you're new to the channel, hit that like button and subscribe for more videos helping you to bring out that prolific writer inside of you. Writing music has changed drastically over the course of the last couple of decades. Just ask anyone in the audio space. We can do things in our bedroom these days that just 20 years ago took a multi-million dollar high-end studio. Now there's two main methods that people use to write music inside their computer. One is a DAW, a digital audio workstation, and the other is a notation software. By the end of this video, you're gonna know the difference between the two, which path you should go down, and maybe even some software that you're already interested in trying out. First thing we need to tackle is what's a DAW, what's a notation software, what's the difference between them, and what are their what are they built for? What are their purposes? A DAW or a DAW stands for a digital audio workstation. This is a program that allows you to process, edit, and record audio and even multiple tracks of audio at the same time. A DAW can also use MIDI with, in conjunction with the virtual instruments to create sound without even actually having to record anything. Now this type of program will take you from absolutely nothing to mixed and mastered and ready to put on Apple Music or Spotify in just one program, which is pretty incredible. You can also download third-party plugins and effects to add as many different types of effects and as many different sounds as you can imagine to your songs. These tools are there to help you get your audio and your song sounding sonically professional, which is huge these days. Now, not all DAWs are equal. Each is built with different feature sets and different interfaces, all geared towards separate markets. Something to keep in mind, however, is that DAWs usually require separate equipment as well. Particularly if you're recording audio, you're going to need a microphone, you're going to need an audio interface in order to use a DAW to its full capabilities. Notation software, however, allows you to write music in a more traditional way through actual sheet music or music notation. This may feel more natural to anyone who's used to writing on staff paper or has had formal musical training. The notation software allows you to create fantastic looking scores and parts that's ready to be printed and shown to performers for reproduction later. But you don't always just have to use music notation. You can also add tabs for multiple different kinds of instruments. It really is just a free for all. You can put in whatever you want. You can add your own different types of notation. I mean, if it's there, then it, you're not really adding your own. I don't know, make sure that, whatever you want. Now, while you can't record audio directly into a notation software, at least not usually, there may be some programs that have that feature set, but it's probably pretty limited, particularly in comparison to something like a digital audio workstation. But you can often record MIDI using a MIDI keyboard or a MIDI hookup into the notation software, so you can still get that sense of performing your art and creating that and building it up from there. Now, notation softwares do also come with a playback feature, but these are often, they often leave us wanting. It's usually using general MIDI or some other type of, or some proprietary MIDI instruments, original instrument software, and they just are based, usually lacking. Though there are third-party options like Note Performer, which uses AI and really advanced like computer computer stuff to make playback on notation software like Sibelius sound really, really, really good and is a major, major step up from the stock sounds that you get. Ultimately, the difference between these two are in their purpose. A DAW or a DAW allows you to record audio, record your MIDI, and make it sound as professional as possible in every single way. Now, a notation software allows you to get your music down on paper quote unquote, and sets it up for reproduction or performance by another performer later. Now you may already have a pretty good idea of which path you wanna go down, even just from talking about these differences, but there is something I want you to keep in mind and take into account. What genre do you play in? Or primarily, you may live in multiple genres, I know I do. These distinctive features of DAWs and notation software are going to lend better to some genres than to others. For those writing electronic music, rock, pop, metal, punk, anything really that you don't need to read from a part while you're playing, you're probably gonna wanna go for a DAW because you're able to have so much more leverage over the sound and you're gonna be able to record all of these real life instruments into your computer with the DAW. For anyone who does usually perform 
with a part in front of them. This is usually classical musicians, jazz, people who are in pit orchestras playing for musicals and stuff like that. Usually a notation software is the way to go because you're able to better create a score and parts from that score for wit for performers to read later on. Now the genre you write in most of the time, you know, may or may not be a large factor in this decision, but don't make it the only factor if you can help it, especially if you are multifaceted and you play in a lot of different genres. Everyone's situation is unique and it's really up to you to decide which is best for you. Now, if you don't know or don't want to know how to read sheet music or even tabs for some instruments, then you're kind of, your decision's sort of made for you. Go, just go with the DAW. MIDI is really easy to get the hang of. It, literally the same exact thing as tabs and as music notation, just a different representation of, of sound. And, uh, and it's just going to be a whole lot easier to start working with the audio more because that's probably what you're more used to at this point if you're not using visual cues like music notation or tabs. Now let's talk about composing for media really quick. It's not uncommon for people who are going into commercial composition to already have some formal musical training, but you also see plenty of composers who don't. While big budget projects will be able to record actual professionals in a recording studio, many indie developers don't have that option which means that you're going to have to have some notation skills and some score creating and score reading abilities, but you're also going to have to have some pretty robust audio skills in order to make yourself competitive as a, as a commercial composer. Essentially what this means is if you're trying to compose for film or for games or for any type of media, you're going to need both. You're going to need a DAW and a notation software. So now that we know the differences between a DAW and notation software and what genres they tend to work best for, let's talk about some actual software to get us up and running. Now, notation software is actually a little bit more straightforward than DAWs in this specific scenario. You can really go with any of the big notation software uh, programs, uh, software programs, is that redundant? Probably. Go with any of the big ones. Sibelius, Finale, Muse Score. You really can't go wrong with any of these. What it all really comes down to is which interface kind of resonates with you and you find and you find more intuitive and facilitates your creativity more than the others. A lot of these notation softwares do come with either trial periods or come with some type of free version. Finale doesn't have a free version, but it does have a free trial. After that, it's gonna be a $600 one-time payment, which is, Pretty stiff. Sibelius does have a free version or a base version, and it also has some premium options on top of it that grows sort of with you as you grow. Yeah. For DAWs, you have a little bit more flexibility, a little more options available to you. Pro Tools is an industry standard, and you'll find this, this software in every single recording studio that's worth a damn. It's cultivated this reputation and this dominance in the market for a reason, and it's definitely worth it. Pro Tools is primarily for people who are focusing more on audio production and audio editing. So if you're recording audio and that's really mostly what you're doing, then Pro Tools is the perfect option for you. But the other thing about this is that it is geared towards audio production. So if you're trying to create songs and have this sort of more creative atmosphere and use virtual instruments, then you might find Pro Tools a little bit lacking, particularly in their MIDI features. Pro Tools has great stock plugins, but they don't come with a lot. And while they are certainly quality plugins, you just, you just don't get that many. It's just not very robust and really mostly geared towards the audio spectrum rather than creation. Pro Tools has a free version called Pro Tools First. And unfortunately, Pro Tools also moved to a subscription model pretty recently. And that kind of sucks. That's just not very consumer friendly, in my opinion. The next big DAW you should know about is Logic Pro. This is made by Apple and is available only for Mac or iOS devices, that's Apple for you, the walled garden. Logic is also an industry standard and you will find this in every single studio that really is worth their salt. If, they, if, they tell, if they're calling themselves a professional studio, then they have Logic, they have Pro Tools. Logic has a bit more of a friendly interface than Pro Tools. And unlike Pro Tools, it's geared far more towards music creation rather than just audio production. That being said, it can do everything that Pro Tools can do in the exact same amount of quality, it really comes down to how you're using the program and what your skills are. Logic and Pro Tools can do basically the same exact things as each other, they just do them in different ways and go about doing them in different ways. Another big differentiator from Pro Tools, Logic comes with a ton of plugins, amazing amount of stock plugins, loops, and virtual instruments, all of which are fantastic in quality and make the creative process 
so much faster. It, it really does a fantastic job of facilitating creativity. Anyone who's going to take a hybrid approach of mixing audio recording with virtual instruments might want to go the Logic route, particularly for its straightforward and quality approach to audio creation and production. Interestingly enough, Logic also has a score editor feature, which allows you to create and write music with music notation and even create scores and parts. It's clunky. It's not great and it's a little bit counterintuitive, but it is there and you can get to know it and get to use it. It's not as good as a notation software, however, but it, uh, it is nice to have, for sure. The free version of Logic is called GarageBand, and like Logic has a truly amazing amount of free instruments and plugins and, and everything. It, it's really incredible. If you, if you feel like that's just a little too basic for you though, you can try Logic for free for 90 days. After that free trial, Logic is only a one-time payment of $200, which honestly is kind of amazing these days. Pro Tools went to that subscription model, which is where a lot of these professional software companies are going. And the fact that Logic is still just 200 bucks one time is pretty amazing. I personally use Logic. I bought it 10 years ago for 200 bucks and I'm still getting upgrades and you really can't beat that kind of support. That downside, however, is that you do need a Mac in order to run or buy Logic. It's just part of it. However, GarageBand does come on iOS and iPad OS. So if you do have a, an iPhone or an iPad, you can get started using with GarageBand right from that device, which is pretty cool. If you have an iPad that has a USB-C, you can even plug in audio interfaces and USB-C external microphones. You can have your production computer be your iPad. And that's pretty cool for portability. And also for if you're in a really small recording space, you're not gonna have the fans whirring on your laptop like earlier today. I just had to wait for my laptop to stop whirring so that the audio wouldn't be terrible. So those are the biggest names in the DAW world, but there are also a couple of others that are worth mentioning. Reason is a very popular DAW these days, especially in the electronic music community and producer world. And this is particularly due to its robust and intuitive MIDI controls. A lot of people also just prefer the way the interface is laid out, even over Logic. Studio One is another great DAW that's sort of new to the scene. They're made by pre Sonos, which is a old school hardware company that is just kind of getting into software sort of new, but I've heard it's really, really well rounded and there's free versions of it. And especially if you get some Presonus hardware, they usually come with a free version of, uh, of Studio One. So you really can't go wrong with that one either. Ableton Live is another really popular DAW. This is much more geared towards professionals who already know what they're doing. Uh, the interface is sometimes can sometimes feel clunky and counterintuitive, but when you know how to use it, man, it, it really does the job and gets the job done, job done for you with really robust editing tools. So while this is a great choice, it might be optimal to wait on this one because as a beginner, it may be easy to feel overwhelmed. Now, if you ask me, what I would do is go check out as many of these free versions of the software as possible, just to kind of get an idea for how the better, the premium versions of these softwares actually operate. And this way you have a good idea of what the interface is like, how intuitive it is to you and whether or not it jives with your creativity. Most of these are Mac and PC with the exception of Logic and GarageBand. Like we said earlier, those are Mac only or iPad or iOS only. Now in the end, what you get will depend on your needs. For me personally, I operate in both the audio, I guess, as well as the visual world. I write and record rock and metal songs, but I also compose classical pieces. So I kind of need the, the strength of both a DAW and a notation software. And that's all for this video. I really hope that this was helpful and now you have a really clear idea of which path you wanna go down, of which type of software is best for you as a music creator, a digital audio workstation or a DAW or notation software. Whatever you do choose, you're probably gonna be writing some melodies and you probably want them to be the very best that they can be. If so, take a look at my free guide to seven ways to write a more effective melody. There I give you some fantastic, versatile tips and tools that you can go through that will refine your melody and bring it up to your standards. These are repeatable steps that you can use on the same melody over and over again until you're happy. These are proven methods that I use every single time I sit down to write, no matter if I'm writing a string quartet or if I'm writing a heavy metal track. Head to justwritemusic.com to pick up my free gift to you. There is a link down in the description. I'm Avi from Just Write Music. I'll see you guys next time.